A, B, C. Oh, hi there, it's me, Jamie. Um, quite a few of you have asked how to play big business on guitar, and have asked me for guitar tabs, which as a guitar player is really fucking cool. Um, only problem is, is that I'm too lazy to write tabs out. Um, I did actually write a song about being lazy, so you can't blame me. So I've got my guitar, and I thought I'd do a quick video on showing you how to play it. Um, so, the first uh, bit of the song is the, uh, the nice chord intro. What that is, is it's an upside down D shape. Um, I don't actually know what you call this kind of a chord, but what you want to do is you want to get the 7th fret of the D string. You want to play that. You want to play the 6th fret on the uh, B string. Note the G string. And then on the B string, you want to play the 7. So, going from the D, it's 7, 6 on the G, and 7 on the B. And all we're going to do is move down to the ninth uh, for the slide and just and just pick it, just pick it however you want. There was no real thought into how to pick it. The first uh, kind of like proper riff bit. This is actually quite easy to do. Um, what it is is it's like a hammer on and pull off on the fifth fret of the E string. This is fucking incredibly uncomfortable. Let me sort my shit out here. Hang on. Right, there we go, that's better. So, you've got, yeah, uh, what that is, it's doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I don't, don't know how to describe that, it's like hammer on and pull off, and you kind of mute it, and when you uh, play the, what that is, is it's half the guitar, so we're talking D down on the seventh fret, and it's just literally about Muting that with your thumb as you kind of pull off, and then, and that bit's just an E power chord, so it's, and that is seven on the A, nine on the uh, D and the G. But I like to play it with my finger flat across it. I don't know why. Just sounds cool. So that's that bit. And then the uh, chorus riff, uh, which is a little bit fiddly, but it's actually really easy when you kind of break it down into what's going on. Uh, what's happening here? So we've got that first bit is uh, we're starting on seven on the D, and then we're playing five on the D, and then we're letting go. Do that a few times. <laughs> Uh, if you kind of struggling to, to get it up to speed, uh, I know I did when I wrote the riff. Spent a long time going like that. So then the that's dead easy. That's seven on the A, five on the D. So put that all together. Pretty simple. Then you've got dead easy. Four, five, four off. Put it all together so far. And the chord, it's just that first chord from the very beginning of the song, that upside down D, which is seven on the D, six on the G, seven on the B. So, when you picking and, uh, you can do it all as down picking if you want, but I like to go And on that note, I like to do an up on the pick, just because it feels, <laughs> makes it feel like you're an amazing guitar player. Can't explain why. But there you go, that's that. Um, the solo's quite easy, it's not really a solo. It's just a, I think you call that tremolo picking, I'm not really too sure. What fret are we on here? I don't know. Um, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 fret. So I'll do that rapid. Pretty straightforward's that. 18 on the B. 17, no, 18 on the B. 15 on the B. 
14 on the B. Oh no, that's not 14. I'm quite lost to be fair actually at this point, but do you know what? It's fucking A. And you can work it out from there, can't you? There you go. You fucking magician never reveals the secrets and all the rest of it. Cheers. <laughs>